Saved it. In this video, I make an engine leveler. Now, I'll start with the disclaimer. If you can't weld, don't try to build one of these because this is something designed to hold a lot of weight and if your welds can't deal with that then you really need to learn how to weld first and then come back and build one of these because it's a great project for anybody working with cars. So I've been shopping. I've bought some D-shackles, a whole box full of bolts. We're not using all of them on this project. I've got some bearings, they're 26mm OD, 10mm ID, and I've got 50 by 6 flat. Now, for this particular project, I would not go anything less than that, because the 6mm the is the bit that's going to give you the troubles, if anything, so 6mm is minimum. And some 75 by 6 So, so. Marking out and drilling. So that gives me a nice line to work off that's off that center point, and I can cut that out later. But now I've got to put a really big hole saw through this. So, we've got a bunch of bits and pieces. Now, I didn't film putting a hole and a thread in this piece, but that's just 25mm aluminium solid. And all that's just the 50 by 6 mile steel, and some bolts, shackles, and one bearing. The other thing is M10 all thread, that's 650mm long, and a handle, which I'm just using a gear shift lever that, well, this was off the cup and build. So, I guess we better just start putting things together then. What I have to do is get the main chassis, weld one of these on each end, and then everything else just bolts together. So, we'll get the welder going and do this first. All right, so these are the end plates. I've got the rest of it assembled here. Now, the end plate will go on the end and the big bar goes through the middle and needs to be at exactly the right height for it all to work. So, they're marked ready to go. 
I'll put this together, weld the ends on, and then we'll do the final assembly and I'll show you how it works. So that's marked. Now just attack it. That looks alright. So I think we're just going to assemble it. And if it all works, then I can weld these while it's all still assembled. Not often that happens. You might have also noticed old grinding wheels make really good one millimeter packers. So don't throw them all away. Save a few. That all works pretty well, so I'm just going to weld these ends on. Now I've actually V'd this plate out at the end, so I get a full penetration weld going in from both sides. Because this is a lifting apparatus and you need it to be built properly. That's the finished unit. Um, should work fairly well, but yeah, that's it for this video. As always, customize everything.